I would like to show you how to download data uh, in an automated way using your MATLAB. Uh, first of all, let me talk about the MATLAB file exchange. So if you go to this website, it's a very useful website to find uh, various functions and code developed by other MATLAB users. And today I want to search about how I can download the stock price data and we can find some functions which is developed by other people. If you type, it will show you the search results. And you can, of course, uh, find many results like this one. Uh, you can usually check when they updated and also you can check the ratings given by other MATLAB users. So if it is rated high, that's something of course uh, good for you and you can consider uh, those type of functions. So actually some of them are quite uh, older, like updated eight years ago. So probably this might not work because the um, Yahoo Finance or Google Finance, their servers uh, sometimes update. So that creates uh, some problems for the older uh, versions of these codes. So I actually found two of them. Uh, that seems to work fine. Uh, one of them is this one. If you click here. And it has the functions. So you can uh, either download this function or you can simply copy paste here all this code into your MATLAB. So you can open a new function here. So if you choose to copy paste, you need to copy all of it. And then basically you just put it here and you need to save it with the same name here uh, to your current working directory. So I already saved it, so I'm not gonna uh, save it again, but I would like to show you how to use it. So that's already here. And basically we can, we can also read uh, some examples here. So let me show you. So the start date and the end date, I will use the MATLAB date number format. So basically I will enter my date here. For example, January 10, 2016. And I want to download all the way up to, let's say, August 1st. 2018 and here you need to tell which tickers or which basically uh, stocks you want to download so let's download it for two different stocks one of them is let's say IBM and the other one is the I think Citigroup denoted by C So if we enter, it will start to download and it will return us a struct. So in MATLAB, struct is often used to store uh, data with different field names, as you can see. So it's a one by two struct. In other words, there are uh, two different stocks. So the first struct is our, if you click here, you can see the first one is IBM, the second one is the Citigroup. And for each one, these are the field names. The field names here are date, open, high, low, close, adjusted, close, etc. And the similar uh, field names exist for the C. So how can we access the elements of these uh, struct? So basically you can do the following. If you just select the first one, that's the first stock, which is IBM. And if you want to access, let's say, the open prices, you just type open. And actually, you can assign this to something else. 
and you can see that now this x is a numeric uh, 644 vector of double uh, elements or numbers and similarly you can access the open prices of the second by simply doing a similar operation so this is the second struct and now we have the, for the city group we have the open prices okay so this is how you can uh, download and how you can utilize this uh, struct variable and you can automate um, downloading process easily by the help of these uh, functions that are already developed by other people and uh, uploaded on the file exchange